Hey everybody, we're going to read the story Dreams, well listen to it, and we're going to talk about some questions. So before we do that, before you go listen to the story, we'll talk about some of the vocabulary you're going to see. This is a shadow. We've talked a lot about shadows. Um, this story is about a shadow, so I just wanted to show the, that again. This word is in the story. It says cast. Cast is how a shadow is made. So when the light shines on an object, we say it casts. A shadow. So you'll notice that in the book. This is a windowsill and the windowsill is important in this story because the little boy puts something on the windowsill and then knocks it over and then you get to see what happens. This is also in the book. This word is gasp. You see this lady's face? She's making a gasp. It sounds like this. <gasps> so often we gasp if something is surprising. This one is another noise sound. This is the dog and he snarled. Snarled is like Arr! when a dog kind of growls or snarls. Okay, so now you can pause this video and go to the description and click on the link to listen to the story dreams. And then come back for the questions. Okay, now that you've read the story or listened to the story, what did Roberto do when he couldn't sleep? So the boy was having trouble sleeping and what did he do when he couldn't sleep? And then I want you to think about why did the dog run away? Can you tell a family member why the dog ran away? If you're having trouble, I'll give you a clue. It has something to do with the shadow and something to do with when the light is closer or further from the object and how the shadow changes. So think about that.